Hey, you all. Uh, thanks for coming back to our channel. This is Georgie from GSC Solutions. So in this video, what I'm going to go over is how to delete a Facebook business page that you're no longer using or needing. For example, one of the brands under my company, GSD Solutions, is called Doer Labs. But we no longer need this Facebook page as we're going to represent it in a different way. But we have this page and it's connected to our Instagram and it's just kind of giving us a hell of a time. So how do you actually delete these Facebook pages that you no longer want or need? Facebook has evolved so much, especially with the Creator Studio, that the settings have gone a little bit wonkers. So I hope this video is helpful for you because it took me a while to find it. So let's speed that process up for you. First, what you want to do is get into the page. So if you don't know how to already do this, you would see all profiles and then switch to that business pages profile. Once you're on that business pages profile, you want to go to settings. When you click settings, it's going to bring you to a second page that has broken down the settings in a couple new ways. So what you're going to head on over to is privacy. Then once you're inside of privacy, now it's going to have even more drop downs. On the left side of the screen, you're going to select Facebook page information. You're going to go ahead and click that. After you select Facebook page information, you'll be able to do things like download or copy your data. And at the bottom, this lovely little section here, de deactivation and deletion. So we're going to go ahead and view that. It will then bring us to another page that gives us an option. Do we want to deactivate the page or delete the page? So we didn't have any relevant information on this page, so we don't need to export the data, but I'm going to actually go ahead and show folks how to do that um, in the event that they want it. So if you do want to export your data um, or transfer or copy it, such as if you have photos, you want to go ahead and click that um, where it says view under transfer photos, and it'll let you know where you could export that data to, and then you'll follow the steps in order to successfully export it. We didn't have anything really saved on this page, so we don't need to do that. You could also do the same thing with download profile information, activity logs. So all of the data that you will need, if you need it, will be here for you to download. So I recommend doing these first steps here. Transfer your data, download it, and get it all saved and hooked up if you so need it. We didn't have any material on this page, so we don't have to do that. So we could go straight to the deletion step. I don't want to deactivate this page, but if it wanted to be a temporary change, I could deactivate the page for a certain amount of time, but I actually just want to delete the page. We don't need the page anymore. So we're going to go ahead, delete page. This is permanent. Yes, I understand. Continue. So it gives me another option again to download my data and information. So I could go ahead and, you know, click that if I need to. As I don't have any information to download or transfer, I'm going to just go ahead and hit continue. Um, it's going to ask me to put in my Facebook password, so we're going to go ahead and do that. After you put in your password, you could just hit um, confirm, and then it'll give you this final prompt asking you if you're sure you want to delete it. You do have 30, 30 days to reactivate in case you do delete it by accident, but I'm doing this on purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And now this page is in the process of deletion. So I just hang out. It prompts me back to my personal page and I just wait until it is finally deleted and they will send me an email. But that is how you delete a Facebook page that you no longer need, a specifically a Facebook business page. If this tutorial was helpful, let us know in the comments. If you have any questions of how to use any of these tools and services, if you need extra support, you can reach out to us at gsdsolutionsinc.com. Thank you so much for watching.